Welcome back. Today we're going to focus on a brand new chord progression. Uh, it is on page 28 of Beginning Classroom Guitar, and in order to do this, we'll have to learn two new chord shapes, the D and A7. So let's jump right in. If you take a look at the top of page 28, you're going to see that you'll have two chord charts that will show us where to put our fingers to play both D and A7. So let's start with D. We're going to go ahead and put our first finger on the third string at the second fret. We'll put our second finger on the first string at the second fret. And we'll put our third finger in between them on the second string at the third fret. This shape will give us a D chord. In the right hand, if you're using a pick, strum strings 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignore 5 and 6. 4, 3, 2, 1. This will give us a D chord. One more time. Strings 4, 3, 2, 1. D. Go ahead and pause the video and practice the D chord. If you already know how to play D, A7 is super straightforward. In order to play A7, we're going to basically take our first and second finger from where they were located to play D and move them to the next lower sounding strings. So your first finger will go to the fourth string, second fret, and your second finger will go to the second string, second fret. You'll strum strings five, four, three, two, one, everything except for the sixth string. And this will give us A7. A7. At the bottom of the page, you'll see two chord progressions that will help us practice changing between the D chord and the A7 chord. Before you start on those, practice very slowly going from D to A7. I'll demonstrate. D chord. my first and second fingers, A7. Practice just making that change from B, two, three, four, to A7. Once that starts to feel comfortable, take a look at the first progression on the bottom of the page. You'll notice that the strumming in the right hand is all down up. For down strums, we'll strum towards the floor. For up strums, we'll strum towards us. Remember, don't play more strings than we need for each of these chords. For D, it'll be strings 4, 3, 2, 1. For A7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So very slowly, here is the first chord progression at the bottom of, pa of the page. D. Notice that I went slow. I focused on making a smooth chord change without a break. The only one we have to count is the very last one, which is a whole note, and we'll hold that last D for four beats. One more time. Start with D. One, two, three, four. The second progression gives us a similar pattern, except that the third strum of each measure is going to be a half note that we hold for two beats. Let me demonstrate. We start on D. One, two, three, four. Two. count to call off this I'll now call off the strumming one two three four down 